a de -er for Audacity for free? Let's check that out. Hey guys, how's it going? I hope your day is going awesome. I hope your audio journey is doing even better. I, I ran across something just the other day and I thought it was amazing and I thought, man, I have to share this. Um, started out as a conversation with another audio junkie, um, amazing guy, and he's, he, he was analyzing my, my audio and he said, yeah, there's a lot, little bit of sibilance in there and, and that's something that you, you should probably take out and reduce and, and get rid of that. And I thought, you know what? That that's a good idea. He 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 recommended a plugin, and the plugin is paid. It's twenty nine ninety nine. It's called the Waves plugin. I checked it out. I used it. It's amazing. It's fantastic, and it does exactly what you want. But then I said, well, maybe we can challenge challenge this and find if there's a free version of this thing called a deesser. Um, and so I went out onto the internet and I checked it out and I found deep within the bowels of forums inside of the Audacity forums. Uh, a deesser by a guy named Paul L. That's all it said. I don't know who it is, but um, what we're going to do is we're going to go through that. I'm going to show you what it is, and we're going to apply it to some really bad S audio, and, and we'll see what you think. I will leave a link to that file in the description below so you guys can check it out and you can use it yourself. So uh, without further ado, let's jump into Audacity. <clears throat> And we'll also open up an applications folder here to show you what to do. Uh, so go to the link in the footer, grab the file or go, go to the website that has the file, download it, and then go put it into your Audacity app. Um, Windows may be a little bit different, but if you're on a Mac, um, you'll open your, let me see here, uh, go into your, your particular program, you're in applications, and you're looking at Audacity, and go to show package contents, Look inside of that and look for the folder called plugins. Inside of plugins, you'll find a bunch of these things called, well, plugins. They're Nyquist plugins specifically. If you see the dot NY at the end, that's what this is. The name of it is called deesser.ny. So you'll take the download from the link I gave you. You will go to your downloads folder and then you'll put it into this plugins folder. This will allow Audacity to read it so that you can use this within your tool. You may or may not have to restart Audacity. You might as well just restart it just because, just to make sure things work properly. Um, so we'll go back over to Audacity over here. And what you'll need to do is you'll go to Add, Remove Plugins, and then you'll go to Find the Thing called DSer. I've got a couple in here, uh, the Waves plugin, as you can see. Um, but go down and you'll see that and make sure that you change it from, it's gonna be probably disabled, Turn that over to enable by clicking that button and then click OK. So we're locked and loaded. We're ready to go. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play you this piece of audio, which is highly full of S's, and then we'll apply the plugin. We'll show you what it does, and then we'll, we'll uh, play the difference between the two and let you make the decision. Uh, so here we go. Surely Sylvia swims, shrieked Sammy surprised. Someone should show Sylvia some strokes so she shall not sink. So that was pretty harsh. There's a lot of S's in there. And if you can see kind of the waveform here, they're pretty big. And they're, they're really almost overpowering the vowels inside of this. So let's go ahead and apply the de -esser. Now, I'm not going to go deep into the settings on this. But one thing you may want to just know is that the threshold, uh, it affects how much of the S you're cutting out. So I would say play for it, play with it. Go check it out and see what works for you. Uh, another nifty tip on here is to look at the frequencies that your S's occur on and then adjust this according to that. Uh, you can get as narrow of a frequency band or as wide of a frequency band as you want and, and play with it. You just have to play with it to find out what works with you. I'm still not done with playing with this, but just for demonstration purposes, I want to do kind of a, a, a little more on this. Uh, it's a pretty wide frequency band. Um, and let's, let's do this and I'll show you what it does here. So let's click okay. Now that I've selected my audio, I've set my settings. And as you can see, that really reduced the size of these S's and it left the rest of the audio completely alone, which is awesome. I'll, I'll just do an undo redo and you'll see this. It really completely takes out all of the sibilance bits, but it really leaves the rest of your audio alone. 
And so let's go ahead and play the old version once more. Surely Sylvia swims, shrieked Sammy, surprised. Someone should show Sylvia some strokes so she shall not sink. And then let's go ahead and reapply our changes here. Surely Sylvia swims, shrieked Sammy, surprised. Someone should show Sylvia some strokes so she shall not sink. And so it works really good. It really leaves your other audio alone. It really smooths out the sibilance in here automatically. You don't really have to get in there yourself and do it. And I'm really happy with it. I think I'm going to be using this uh, a lot going forward. I'm going to keep playing with waves uh, while I have the, still have the free trial here. And I'm just going to be comparing over the next couple of days and see what I come out with. But I hope this is helpful for, helpful for you. It's very helpful for me. And I, I hope uh, you guys get a lot of benefit out of this. So thank you. Have an awesome day. And get rid of your sibilance. Thank you, guys.